So I got to mention it over on Twitter. I don't think that I've really mentioned it too much here on the YouTube channel as of being home just yet, but I ended up going out to Infinity Ward to get early footage of Infinite Warfare's DLC 3, and as always, it was an absolute blast, major privilege, and absolute honor to be able to go out there and get this footage here for you guys. So huge shout out to Activision and Infinity Ward for flying me out there, letting me get this footage, and just the absolute amazing hospitality. But when we play these builds here, sometimes there are some things that are unlocked for everybody that's in the game now that you might not necessarily have, and as such, sometimes it's really cool to play around with that kind of stuff. And in this case, we're going to be taking a look at all of the Black Sky rigs that were added into Infinite Warfare. These were a part of the newest update to Infinite Warfare in which we ended up getting some new weapons as well, but there's gold, diamond, solar, and black sky camos for your rigs that you can add to your helmet and body customization for each rig. Now, I wanted to show this off for you guys because I don't think that at this point of this going up that anybody has all of the footage for all these rigs, so I could be wrong, I could be right, I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, I wanted to show it off to you guys because it is once again a brand new feature that the way the timing worked out, it really kind of was just super lucky that I ended up having this unlocked on everything already at the build that we were playing out in Infinity Ward, and this being a brand new thing that people may be grinding out for now. So I figured we'd take a look and showcase these here for you guys on every single rig so that you can see if you want to grind them out or not, if it's worth it or if it's not, whatever it may be. But regardless, here's our showcase of all the rigs with Black Sky on it. Now, just to jump in real quickly with some quick little footnotes or something like that, my own personal preference on this, there are definitely some that look better than others. It's like the weapon canvases as well that camos will be placed on certain weapons a little bit differently, and as such, it's pretty much the same exact thing here with each of the rigs. I personally think that probably Merc and Striker are the two best looking with Black Sky on it, maybe then followed by Warfighter, and then maybe say Synaptic, Phantom, and then FTL, but that's really all contingent upon which part of Black Sky is visible on that canvas that that each character has and how vibrant it is and how much it's really shown off. Some of them, like Phantom, doesn't really have all that much canvas on the rig models that shows it off all that much that well. Merc, on the other hand, which I think is the best looking one, has a lot of that area that Black Sky is already applied to, and thus I think just makes it look a lot nicer. You can see it in a little bit more detail, and there's a lot more pieces that are a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more better looking than that of some other ones. So it really does come down to personal preference on which one you think really does take the best as the candidate for the best looking one, but of course the grind is all still the same. And as such, how you actually get these is once again as how you would with the camo, but a little bit differently you need to have gold diamond and solar unlocked for every single rig and then after that it really just comes down to simply finding a long enough game mode and doing a decent enough job because the final black sky camo challenge for the rigs isn't actually all that hard to acquire it's simply get five kills with every single rig in a single game so essentially you just need to get 30 kills and if you do that in say a domination game or something like that it's rather attainable to do, and yes, you might be a little bit pressed for time, and you might need to be a little bit quick on it, but for the most part, 30 kills in some standard modes definitely can happen rather easily, and even if you hop into a hardcore mode, that makes it probably even a little bit easier as well. Jump into, say, a hardcore TDM, and bam, there you have it, 30 kills, and your black sky on all of your rigs. So that said, that's how you do it. That grind, is it worth it? Well, it comes down to your personal preference once again. So hopefully this video in the showcase gives you guys a little bit clarity on how to do this and if it is worth that grind that you think that it may or may not be worth. Let me know down in the comment section though if you guys think it is worth the grind or do you think it is not worth the grind. There's no right or wrong answer, just want to get your thoughts and feedback here on this one. I personally think, once again, some of these look absolutely fantastic, some of them maybe not so much, but they still look pretty good. I think it's definitely very cool that these were added, but of course, once again, all comes down to your thoughts and opinions. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course if you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty, that meaning Infinite Warfare DLC 3, which we'll be having all throughout the next couple of days, information and details and showcases on that, Modern Warfare Mastered, Call of Duty World War 2, both multiplayer and zombies, Black Ops 3, both multiplayer, zombies and zombies chronicles, and all that good stuff relating to Call of Duty. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, one final thanks to Activision and Infinity Ward for inviting me out to L to get some DLC 3 footage and this kind of stuff. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. Take care and peace.